This week we're talking about optical illusion clothes. This is an optical illusion dress the trend for which began on the catwalk with a collection by Stella McCartney, which was very, very popular on the red carpet. You might remember seeing it on Kate Winslet, for example. Um, and the point of the dress is that it's a pale dress with sort of black panels around the edge. Now, the point of the panels is to make you look thinner. I mean, looking thinner is the elephant in the room of the whole fashion industry, because we all know that that's actually what you think when you stand in front of the mirror. But fashion likes to sort of pretend it's not there um, and that leaves lots of us in a position when you're choosing clothes of you're choosing between your the part of your mind that wants to find things that make you look thinner and the part of your mind that's looking for interesting fashion and the good thing about this is it kind of combines both so you can wear something that's fashion and on trend and kind of interesting and current and it also makes you look thinner so it's basically a win-win. This one is by Marks and Spencers. Um, there's not as much of this around on the high street as you'd think. I suspect there will be a lot more soon. So we found a couple of examples here, but I think it's something to look out for. And what there are a lot of already are trousers with a black stripe down the side, which sounds like the most ridiculous trick, but you'd be surprised how well it works. So well worth a try. Um, so as well as this Marks and Spencers one, we have one here, which is a slightly more subtle shape by DKNY, not trying to do the sort of big inny outy waist thing, but just with these panels that just make this kind of section disappear really, which I think is quite a good idea on a dress this shape, because otherwise if you're not very tall and willowy, this shape of dress can look a bit sackish, so this kind of panel just sort of balances it out. These trousers here are Philip Lim. I'm showing you these ones because they are kind of the originator of the trend at the moment on the catwalk. Um, I love these trousers, they're so beautiful and they have a, um, this section here sort of zips up here so you can adjust the shape so you can either have it open as a kind of palazzo pant with a racer stripe all down or kind of more gathered. And uh, they have amazing detailing here. In here they have one of those tabs like they have in children's clothes where they can, you can pull in the inside to make the waist smaller which is just such a good idea. I wish more people would do them because on a pair of trousers like this you don't always want to wear a belt because it's kind of clunky, but inevitably you have some days when your waist is slightly bigger than others, so it's quite good to have the, have the flexibility. That's what you get when you pay um, stupid money for trousers. A kind of sporty take on the tuxedo trouser with the zip pocket and this kind of almost neoprene shine to the, the satin, really nice and stiff. Um, very beautiful, elegant trousers. Variations on a theme. These ones are by Sportmax and have the black stripe going down here and then kind of cuffing it as well. So it has almost a sort of stirruped, sort of salopette look. I like these jeans. This is a really nice variation on the trend. These ones are by Mother Denim. And then last of all, our high street find for you. These are Karen Millen but really, really lovely, elegant, wide silk trousers, which have the, all that kind of nice, carefree, pale silk trouser feel with also a little bit of a slimming black stripe at the sides. 